India was a country which prayed for the goodness of the world. India's all good works were finished by reciting the slogan Loka Samastha Sugino Bhavantu. After the destruction of our cultures by Britishers till 1947, we ourselves started destroying our cultures afterwards. Whenever the culture is destroyed, whenever the atrocity increases, at those all times to establish the culture back, our country has strived a lot. And it will continue, because of which the India is still alive. To obtain any kind of knowledge in this world, there is only one country, and it is India. Health science, mathematical science, archaeological science are the donations to the world by Indians. Till 80, 10th century, India used to teach arithmetic progression and geometric progression to Europeans, who didn't even know to write four-digit numbers. In Yajurveda, there were mantras for copper, glass, lead. But after 80,500, Europeans claimed that they found these metals. However, it was known to Indians long back before 5,000 years. After 8,400 to 81,500, Indians wrote hundreds of Rasatantra books like Dasharat Nagaram, Dasha Samuchayam, Dasendra Sar Sarvasam, Dasendra Chudamani were all written by great people like Nagarjun. These all books include the information about how to use different chemicals. Besides all, it also contains the information about how to process gold, silver, tin, lead, iron, copper and mercury. The light has seven colors was not found by Sir Isaac Newton. It was either written by Vishwamitra Maharshi in the Vedas that Sun God is sending his seven light beams to earth. The light travels was also not found by Sir Isaac Newton. Either it was said by Sainacharya that hey Sun God, we thank you for sending these beams of your lights in the speed of 1,86,000 miles per second. Before the invention of gravity by Newton, there was a clear definition for gravity in Indian astrological science and it defined that all the solid objects in the sky will get attracted to earth and all the objects attracted will definitely fall on earth. These all things can be found in the chapter 6 of Bhuvanakosham in the book called Siddhanta Shiromani by Bhaskaracharya, written in the year 1148. The earth is round. Earth is rotating and Earth also revolutes around Sun was found by Aryabhadan. But today, for all these findings, we call the names of Galileo, Copernicus and Tychrobat. In AD 449, Aryabhadacharya first wrote the book Aryabhadiyam when he was 23 years old. This book is considered the best mathematical and astrological book in India. The book has information about the Earth's shape, Earth's revolution around Sun, and all about Earth's rotation, revolution, and speed. And the perfection of this book is the only reason because of which India's first satellite was named Aryabhata. All things written by Aryabhata Acharya and Bhaskara Acharya are also written by Brahmagupta in Brahma's Sudha Siddhantam with 10 times more explanation and with equations. Earlier Greenwich Line was in India. Longitude and latitude of this side and that side were calculated. Paradiviran in 8553 had calculated Alexandria's longitude 3.07 degree was the longitude of Alexandria from Ujjain and according to modern science it was 23.03 degree. There is a big picture of Pani placed in the Sanskrit department of St. George University, Germany. The Ashtadhyayi book written by Panni is the base of German language. There was a book called Adharva Veda which included information about all the probable diseases which may be suffered by human beings. It also had all the information about the medicines for curing the diseases and even the mantras to be used while giving medicines. The WHO has given universal medicine status only to one compound in the whole earth, that is water. And the same was written years back in Yajurveda, that for any diseases, don't give any medicine other than water. Hippocrates is known as father of modern medicine, but Hippocrates himself has written 117 times in his book that he had learned medical science from books of Charagan and Shishruta. For curing any disease, the body and mind should become one, was first time said by Shushruta. 
all injuries to hurt will affect your body and all injuries to the body will affect your hurt is said in the book Shustra the Dukkita. By reading this book written in BC 700, Dr. Deepak Chopra of Washington Health Institute started testing this technique in 1993. He tested this technique to know if the mind and body is interconnected. Then if mind is cured, will the body also get cured? He tested this technique on the patients whose lifespan was assumed very less by modern medical science, like AIDS and cancer patients. This quantum healing technique by Dr. Ch uh, Deepak Chopra was successful. Quantum healing is considered the best healing technique in the 21st century. The people have started understanding that there is nothing better other than meditations for activating mind. There is a rule in America that meditation should be the last chapter of all medical books published according to American University. Surya Namaskara has become daily routine for the people of England and other developed countries. While doing Surya Namaskara, our body's 156 moves and joints get exercise. According to the report of Washington Post magazine and New York Times magazine, 64% of people above the age of 40 years in America are doing yoga. Lee Catholic's principal base was Bhagavad Gita. Whenever the system is in equilibrium is disturbed, the system will adjust itself in such a way that the effect of change is nullified. Listen to the same thing written in Bhagavad Gita. Yada yada dharmasya dhanir bhavadid bharata abhyuktanam dharmasya tat tatmanam sajamyaham pavitranam sadhuna vinashaya chaduskrita dharam samstabhanadhayam sambhavam yugi. When the atrocity increases in a society which is stable, the system will adjust itself, that is, to bring back the cultures, the environment will do everything. Sunday should be a holiday, was not introduced by Britishers, either it was introduced by Chanakya. In Chanakya's Arthashastra, it is written that the people should not work more than 8 hours, they should also get 45 minutes break for lunch, people should get 1 month of medical leave, 10 days casual leave in an year and mine workers and military workers should get two holidays in a week. The book Panchatantra written by Vishnu Sharma in AD 505 is part of CIA syllabus of America. Othlian Library, which is a very famous library of Oxford University, has approximately 20,000 small boxes which are the old books which Britishers took away from India till 1946. Today also Many scientists and researchers are trying to study these old books. There are 442 Rig Veda books kept in Harvard University. Albert Einstein once said that when we Europeans were not enlightened, there was a country which was enlightened and we should never forget their contributions. He had also said that if Bhagavad Gita was not there, he couldn't have found E equal to MC squared. Till his death, he kept Bhagavad Gita with him. Not only Brahmins, everyone has right to study Veda because the Veda Vyasan who wrote Veda was himself a low caste person and neither Lord Krishna or Lord Shiva were Brahmins. It is said in Bhagavad Gita that at birth everyone is Sudra and only by karma one becomes Brahmin. Brahma means knowledge. Getting knowledge and giving knowledge is the Brahmin's work. In this world, there are 68 Christian countries and approximately 60 Muslim countries. But India with 82% of Hindus have never asked to become a Hindu country because the 10,000 years of our country's inheritance is because of our country's Hindus, Christians and Muslims. All Indians have equal right. If there is any problem in India, then it's the job of we Indians to solve it. The pain which you feel when someone mocks your diseased mother, you should feel the same pain when someone says about your country. Even after the long thousand years of foreign rule over our country, the India is still alive. Our cultures are also still alive. I want to conclude by saying a small story. Long time back, there was a father who had a world map, but his six-year-old son, while playing, teared the map into small pieces. After a lot of trials, the father failed to correctly place the map. 
He became angry and threw the map on the table and left the room scolding his son. The map, which the father tried to correct for three hours, was corrected by the son in three minutes. When the father came back, he saw the world map was ready. He asked the child that, in first class, you are not taught geography, then how did you correct this map? He replied, which world map are you asking about? He has never seen a map. In the back side of the map, there was an image of a man. That small boy saw the eyes, hands, legs, and he knows where these all should be placed. This shows that on one side, when a man got corrected, on the other side, the whole world got corrected. I wish that person be you. With regards, this is Akshay Krishnan, and thanks to Melvin Suresh.